and welcome to the Twin Stitches Designs Podcast. My name is Julie and I'm the knitwear designer behind Twin Stitches Designs. Today we are Friday. I want to say we are like February 26th. I think so, yeah. And um, this is episode 30. Thank you so much for checking out the podcast. If you're a new viewer, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy and thank you to all the returning viewers. Absolutely love always coming back to you guys. Um, it has been a little less than two weeks since my last podcast. This morning, I know it's very rare that I podcast on a Friday, but um, very big news. Uh, we have enrolled the girls in pre-K for the fall in our area. Um, if you follow the podcast and me, I'm a stay-at-home mom with my twins, and they have never been out of my care, except for our parents. So this morning, um, I had called the pre-K um, that the girls are going to in the fall, and um, I, I told her, you know, if you have any spots here and there, we would absolutely love to start them out small, and especially for us as well. So she called me up and let me know that this morning they were having, they had two spots in as well on Tuesday morning. So we dropped them off, and um, it was nerve-wracking as heck. I am so terrified to go pick them back up. Like, oh my gosh, was it okay? Did they enjoy themselves? Did they cry the whole time? Did they, you know, did they push other kids? Like, I'm just like, my brain is going all over the place. So I thought that I would do a ton of videos today and a ton of work to kind of keep my brain busy. And um, yeah, so the, like I said, um, it's only for this time and then Tuesday. And if she has any other times that two children aren't there, that we're kind of going to put the girls I just think it'll do them the world of good because they're not around other children and I think especially um, they have a speech delay or a, um, so it will really help their language uh, develop and all of that so yeah I'm freaking out a little bit this morning but that's okay because I hear it's normal my babies aren't here <laughs> I am just like a complete like crazy person this morning but if you know me, this is kind of normal. Um, absolutely love uh, my quirky personality, hopefully. You guys, I have so much to share with you all. Uh, it has been a busy two weeks. So first up and foremost, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Julianne Knitter. I probably should have mentioned that at the start. I will link everything I talk about down below this video. If you have any questions, please list them down below and I will always try to answer them as soon as I possibly can. Um, I am wearing my faded turtleneck sweater that is coming out March 3rd. So if you are interested um, in this sweater pattern, it's gonna be coming out, like I said, on March 3rd. I knit this out of Tonamata yarn in her DK weight base. Really beautiful, simple pattern. Fun detail on the side. Uh, this is coming out, I want to say either in 9 to 10 sizes, uh, size inclusive and in DK weight. So it knits up like a breeze because it goes so fast. I think I knit it on a US 9, so it goes really, really, really fast. Love, love, love this sweater. Uh, we also had a sweater pattern that was uh, released, which was my little um, Neapolitan ice cream sweater, which was for the girls. And uh, this little sweater came out two days ago. If you are not on my newsletter, get on it, and then you will never miss a um, pattern release. But this was knit out of Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Tweed in the colorway Oyster Heather, Square Dance Heather, and Sara, 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 it'll be down below. For some odd reason, I can never say it. But absolutely love this, love the little cuff detail that's different so this pattern is available from zero to six months all the way to 10 to 12 years old in sizes so very generous in the size and really love this the girls absolutely love wearing their sweaters chloe did not want to take this off it was a battle to take it off um so really really love that this pattern is available on ravelry and will soon be available also on lovecraft that little sweater. Uh, let me check. Okay, finished. Another finished object that I have um, is my pair of socks out. I don't. 
don't remember if this pair of socks was completely done, but on the last podcast, but I finished um, the entire pair of socks out of Camp Fiber Yarns in Ice Castle. So I knit these on a 2.25 millimeter needle, cuff down, I did a two by two ribbing for 22 rows, five and a half inches for the leg. I did a German short row heel, and then just knit the toe. Absolutely love how these turned out. Oh, and I use uh, Knit Picks Stroll in Sapphire Heather for the heel. Love these. Uh, if anybody's wondering, I grabbed my sock blockers off of Etsy, but the shop is not um, open at the moment, so they've not been open for a while, I think. But yeah, really, really love these socks, so I can't wait to wear them. I will put this, yes, I will put this on the ground. And um, the next one is I had leftover yarn. And I, if you watch my stories, you will know that I did a big oopsie on this sock. I had 54 grams left of yarn of the Ice Castle colorway, which was the main colorway and I wanted to divide them into two equal balls to be able to knit um, the leftover for a pair for my husband. For some odd reason, my brain decided that 22 grams was half of 54 grams, but, but it's not. It, that would have been 44 grams, but I had 54 grams left. So I cast on the pair toe up, of course with the bigger ball, which was 30, 32 grams, and I start knitting it and I'm like, wow, I got a lot of length for 22 grams of yarn. So I knit these two up, I cast on 24 stitches, and then um, in the colorway mini skein of Frostbite from Laura, and then I knit uh, six and a half inches, I did a German short row heel in the garter. You do this by um, knitting every row instead of purling. My husband absolutely loves this heel. He finds that it's squishy and really comfortable. And then I knit and knit and knit. By the time that I figured out my mistake, I was about to bind off here. I couldn't believe it. I did not want to rip back because I hate knitting toe up socks. So I finished it with a two by two rib for 13 rows and it measures out, uh, the leg length measures out seven inches. My husband likes anywhere between six to eight inches. Um, so that's where that is at. So yeah, I didn't know what to do for the second pair or the second sock because now I only have 22 grams left. So I'm either gonna do a really long toe or a really long cuff. I just couldn't believe I did that. I didn't wanna rip out all the work. And then because I couldn't really measure and then I didn't really know so that it was just a mess, you guys. Yeah. So this one is done. The second one is in a timeout. It will be revisited very soon, but it's currently in a timeout because I need the timeout. <laughs> but I love this sock so much. Um, this yarn is absolutely incredible. I actually have another skein here. So this is Camp Fiber Yarns in her Ice Castle colorway. It's inspired by Frozen. This one is on a deluxe MCM, which is 80% superwash merino, 10% cashmere, 10% nylon. Um, I knit it on her 80-20 base, but this one, this one's a giveaway for you guys, so she, she spoiled you guys with an MCN base, which Laura, I actually have not used MCN for, so um, your MCN base for socks before, so this is all luxurious, I'll share that more with you guys later. So yes, that's on that pair of socks, um, like I said, that little, little one's on timeout. Uh, the next whip that you guys would have seen, I am almost done. Um, I literally just have to do the hat this morning, the decrease, uh, finish the decreases. But my hat for Camellia Fiber Company is done. This is a hat that I cast on that's going to be coming out at the end of March. Um, if you are interested in test knitting patterns, uh, patron members get first dibs on the sizes. And if there are any sizes available, then I open it up to the public. So. Um, as always, my Patreon, um, Patreon is linked below. You get exclusive videos, free patterns, test knit calls, that whole 
whole thing. So this one is really fun. It's super simple texture, but I think it just goes so well with the yarn. Uh, this one is knit out of, like I said, Camellia Fiber Company in her worsted base. This is the Camellia colorway, and I'm holding it together with her mohair, which is a moon flower, which is a nice white. Really beautiful, and I love, love, love how these are um, knitting up together. Really excited about this hat. I really love it. Um, I think it's going to be like, I'm going to wear this constantly. Sometimes I love a good simple pattern and delicate pattern where it's not too much but you really show off the yarn more and I think this one is exactly what I wanted it to be. More about um, the yarn and for it to look delicate. I really love it. So like I said this pattern is going to be coming out at the end of March but if you don't want to miss out on test knitting definitely join our Patreon group which is a lot of fun. Uh, that one's going to be bound off today. So I remember the last podcast I mentioned that I wanted to be done this hat. It, you guys, it's pretty much done. I think I have to do run one round left, and then I am pulling it through, and it is done. It's currently in my Daisy Girl Company bag that I had um, purchased on a D-stash last time. Absolutely love Sherry's bags. It's a nice peekaboo bag, so you see your project in between. I love that. All right, I just had to get reorganized there. My next whip is in my French Supply Co. bag that was gifted to me by one of my lovely friends a few years ago. Absolutely love this bag. I use it all the time um, for bigger projects. And I am working up a test knit for Chantelle of Knititude, and I am using Knit Picks Twill, which is a worsted weight, 100% uh, superwash merino wool, and I need more twill in my life. This base, I am obsessed. It is so beautiful, so incredibly soft. It knits up like a dream. I really, I love it. I definitely, uh, I'm going to order a sweater quantity more of the this colorway, which is Sea Salt Heather. And I think I'm also going to order the graphite, which is like a dark charcoal. Um, I love this so much. And this is where I'm at. So on the last podcast, I mentioned that I wanted to split the sleeves and you guys, I'm almost done with the body. This is how much I've been loving this knit. So this pattern I think only comes out in April. Um, it is her Easy Eyelet Yoke cardigan. So I am about, uh, I wanna say 12 inches down the body and I need to get, I need to knit about approximately two more inches before I start the ribbing and this is how twill knits up it is so beautiful and there's these fun eyelets and then I'm gonna pick up for the, the button band after absolutely love this sweater I want it like on me today it is amazing um, I'm knitting this on my Knit Picks Interchangeable Needle Set, the Nickel Plated, which is my all-time favorite, in US 10 with a worsted weight. Her gauge is very loose, which I love a loose gauge because it knits up so fast and it's light. Um, really, really love this. So I am currently on, um, I started my fourth skein. I am thinking I might need five to six skeins, which I do have. So very happy about having that in my stash ready for a test knit so i am hoping by the next podcast that this sweater is done i might even try to do the sleeves two at a time oh, love it so much i really missed test knitting i absolutely love um test knitting and I think I'm going to be doing a lot more of that in the future just because I absolutely love relaxing and knitting somebody else's designs and following someone else's patterns. I really love that. I find it's um, very relaxing so I'm hoping to do more of that in the future. All right, put that away. Oh and if, if it wasn't, um, I didn't say but it's knit top down obviously and I'm finishing on the ribbing and then I pick up the sleeves in the button band which is going to be so much fun. 
I'm hoping tonight, um, me and my husband are just going to watch some Shit's Creek, and I'm hoping that I can just finish the body tonight, and then tomorrow we'll pick up the sleeves. I mean, could I eventually, could I finish by Sunday? Oh, Julie, don't get ahead of yourself. All right. That is uh, my last whip. Uh, I am still doing Dishy Dimanche, and um, I did not finish my dishcloth on Sunday, sadly, but I'm pretty, pretty close. I will, I will be finishing this before this Sunday. Um, I'm already on the decreases, and this within like a half hour. I'm done. I just haven't picked it back up. Whoops. After Sunday. So, and I am perfectly um, still on point for one dishcloth a week. I have this much left of my creme brulee. So I am knitting, um, doing a knit along year long knit along of knitting one dishcloth a week for the entire year. You see my little tiny stash of dishcloth is right here. I already have seven done and I think this one is my eighth or this is my seventh. I'm not 100% sure. And um, I picked out my next color way which is going to be this beautiful Dishy Multi Knit Picks in Sunshine. So what I'm going to be doing is I don't want any waste on my dishcloth knitting. So I'm going to finish this one and I'm going to start the last one out of the creme brulee and whenever I run out of creme brulee I'm just going to start Sunshine and then keep it going. I don't want any leftovers. I want to use every single um, bit that there is left. So out of one skein of Dishy I am able to get four dishcloths with using the fourth one like with some extra. Um, let me see if I can grab an example. Here we go. So this was the leftover of the fourth one and then you see I just used a little bit of the creme brulee to finish it off. This one was um, Knit Picks Dishy Multi in Kitchenette and then that was the creme brulee. So I started the creme brulee and then um, did three full dishcloths and this will be the third one in the creme brulee and then the fourth one will have the sunshine with it to make sure that I use up every single last bit of leftover so in those I will definitely be keeping just the the ones with like the two three colors it doesn't bother me so it's Knit Picks Dishy and this one it like I said is creme brulee focus. Okay, apparently does not want to focus, but it's creme brulee. And as always, I have this in my kitchen sink shop bag. And I knit grandma's favorite dishcloth pattern in uh, on a US 8 needle. All of them up to now. I might, I might do some fun pattern dishcloths, but right now I'm really enjoying just plain knitting. The only uh, thing that I do differently is I do uh, knit front and back instead of the yarn over so I don't have the holes on the side. Gotta weave in those ends. Not for another day. Okay. The next, uh, that is all my whips. I'm really focusing on finishing off that sweater. And on Monday, we're gonna be casting on for our one week sock knitting challenge. More about that in a little bit. So really, I am finishing off everything. Um, finished off the sock, finishing off the hat. I'm hoping to finish the sweater by this weekend. So all of that can be done. I just came out with a new pattern club that is gonna be coming out on March 1st. I absolutely love the Bridgerton series on Netflix. I've watched it two times already and I'm currently reading the books. It is absolutely amazing. And I decided to come out with a Bridgerton inspired club called the Regency Sock Club. Um, these are going to be the sock yarns that are going to be in the patterns. So I wanted to share that with you all. The pre-order is now open. It's $10 Canadian for all three patterns right now. March 1st, the price is going to go up to $14 Canadian for all three patterns. This is actually my, my cheapest club that I've done. Um, I lower the price to try and um, make it more affordable for all of you. So the first pattern is going to be knit out of this Knit Picks Stroll Hand Painted in Pluto. The second pattern is going to be knit out of Knit Picks Hawthorne in Daphne. And the last one is going to be knit out of this Knit Picks Stroll Tonal in Poppy Field. So I thought that these colors went absolutely perfect for 
what I had in mind, which one, uh, the characters and everything. So I'm really excited about this. I will link the pattern club down below if you would love to join. We'd absolutely love to have you. All it is is that March 1st, April 1st, and May 1st, you will have a brand new sock pattern in, wait, no. Mar yeah, March, April, and May 1st, you're gonna get a brand new sock pattern in your Ravelry library. Um, and all inspired by the Bridgerton Netflix series. So really excited about that. Um, so if you are interested, get on it now because it's the cheapest price that it's gonna be. And the price is only gonna go up from here. So really, really, really excited about that. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. That is all for the knitting. I have a ton of acquisitions and then planning for my cast on for the one week sock cow. So first off, we're gonna go on acquisitions. I received an incredible package from Ellie of Artistic Lily, who is amazing and I love her. I've collaborated with her multiple times in the past and I just adore her and her yarn. It's so beautiful. So I received a few of them in the mail. This one, oh, I wanna cast it on right away. Perched on Plum. It is on her Gotta Have Socks Fingering Weight Base, which is a 80-20. Look at those beautiful colors. I mean, stunning. This is gonna be for a pair of socks. This one is Stand in the Limelight. Oh, I love colors for socks, like I really do. I love this bright green and then the brown. Same base on her Gotta Have Socks, 80-20. Absolutely gorgeous. So these two are gonna be socks. And then the last from her is on her frog belly, which, I mean, come on, this is so beautiful. It is like greens with a little bit of brown and a slight pink undertone. It is stunning. So I have two of these. I have one on her Gotta Have Socks, and then I also have her Gotta Have Shawl Base. Uh, her shawl base is 100% superwash merino, and the socks is a 80-20. And then she sent a Surrey alpaca to go with it in the frog belly colorway. I mean, come on. So this is going to be a set of some sort. If you're a patron member, I do spill the beans on what this is going to be. And uh, this is on her Snuggle Me Surrey, which is 77% baby Surrey alpaca and 26% mulberry soap. really excited about this. I can't wait. I can't wait to cast them all on. I absolutely love Ellie's yarn. It knits up beautifully. I did the, um, I did some of the Coffee House Sock Club. I did the Colorwork Sock Club, all out, all out of Ellie's yarn. That's how much I love her yarn. Okay, um, next up, what I received in the mail. Uh, I received a ton of prizes. If you are ever interested in donating anything for the podcast or pattern um, for knit alongs and Patreon, let me know, send me uh, an email, direct message, whatever works for you. Um, so first up, I received these wonderful skeins uh, from Nicole of Nicole C. Mendez. Nicole is actually a patron of mine and um, we were chatting and she wanted to send some amazing yarn. And if you do not follow her, definitely go. I will link her shop down below. She is actually doing a three month uh, Bridgerton inspired um, self, I think it's her self striping uh, sock club. So definitely go and purchase that one. Uh, please go purchase that one so I don't have to. This is her ice cream on her soft sock, which is 80% virgin wool and 20% nylon. Absolutely love this colorway. Has the brown, the pink, the white, Perfect, perfect color, way name. Um, we also have Cupcake, which is pinks, different color pinks and browns and whites. It is it is the same type of color, but you can really see a difference. It's, no, it's nowhere near the same. So this one is ice cream and this one's Cupcake. This one's more reds and this one's more pink. And the last one is called Wild Roses and this is on her shiny sock which is 60% virgin wool and 40% tencel. So there's this little, you will see like little spark, like sparkles-ish. It is beautiful. It's hard to capture. Mm. 
really beautiful. So. Thank you so much to Nicole. I, these are beautiful. And she said I could keep one, which, oh my gosh, that is so generous. I don't know. It's between these two, but I don't know which one yet. So some of these are going to be put away for giveaway and uh, really excited about that. I also received a mini skein set from Molly of a homespun house, and this is going to be featured in our Instagram 10K giveaway. So Molly, Molly generously donated um, her Connection Soft Sock 620 gram mini skein set. So these are on her 7525. And you see all of these beautiful pinks. Really, really pretty. So thank you so much, Molly. Uh, the last one for some yarn is Laura of Camp Fiber Yarns. Laura also sent over um, some prizes for the 10K giveaway. And you guys, I couldn't believe she surprised and sent over a skein of Ice Castle, which was so fitting because I've shared it so much. So one of you guys are going to be able to win a skein of MCN Ice Castle. I'm so jealous. You know how much I love this. I've shown off how it knits up. It is beautiful. And this one is just a black on also her MCN. So Laura generously donated these two skeins. And these will also be in the 10K giveaway. It's gonna be an amazing giveaway. And there's more. Okay. Let me just. So last night I received a package in the mail that blew me away. Stephanie of the Creative Creative Knitter. I want to get that right. Yeah, the Creative Knitter asked me if she could send out a giveaway package and I said of course I would absolutely love that because she makes beautiful bags she also dyes some yarn when I opened the package I couldn't believe what was in here so she had this beautiful bag labeled for me which is so perfect which is white and then these I mean this bag is stunning I love the handle love a drawstring absolutely love this bag and if that wasn't enough, she sent over this bag for a giveaway prize, which is so pretty. So these are her small bags, which are perfect for socks or a hat. So she sent this beautiful drawstring bag. And then she not only sent that, then she sent two beautifully wrapped uh, tissue paper with Chloe and Claire, who are my twins. And I thought, you sent something for the girls. She blew she blew it away. I started tearing up. I couldn't believe. You guys, she made the girls matching little bags so they could be like me. There are no words. They were so happy. If I can, I'll put a photo of the girls here with them. She even has, like, she knows. She knows. Identical inside because, I mean, they're kids. She sent over four bags, one for you guys, one for me, and one for each of the girls. I have never, I, like I said, I couldn't, couldn't believe it. The girls had so much fun with the little bags. For, for her to think of them, I mean, was just absolutely, absolutely amazing. And she sent over this super adorable card. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I already sent you a personal message, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Like you, you don't, like, this was just so sweet and so thoughtful, I couldn't believe it. So this beautiful bag is gonna be going in the Our 10K giveaway as well. So you're gonna have some yarn in there, you're gonna have some bag, I mean, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be soon, I'm still waiting on prizes in the mail, Um. so yeah. And then, like I said, this bag is for me, and I'm so excited. So the last thing that we are going to be chatting about is the one-week sock knit. Sorry, I'm just getting set up. Is the one-week sock knitting challenge. So this is a challenge that I'm doing on Instagram, and I'm co-hosting this uh, this year with um, Denise of Earth Tone Girls. 
and I'm really excited to have a co-host this time. We did this challenge a few times uh, last year, and it was so much fun that I decided to bring it back. All it is is we try to knit one adult pair of socks within one week. It could be any pattern, any weight of yarn. It could be whatever you want, and we're just going to try to knit it up all together. Sorry, I need some coffee. So I got this bag in the mail, and this is going to be my bag that I'm going to use for the knit along. I also went to my local yarn shop last night and I got two different sets of needles. I am debating trying the 9 inch Chiago Red Lace circular needles for socks. Now what I'm debating on doing with this is that I would do um, cuff down and I would knit a tube and then I would cut out for the afterthought heel so I won't even have to do a heel, I'll just do a long tube with this. I do want to get used to this because I hear it's so much faster. And then if not, well, I bought another set of 2.25 um, millimeter needle in the 32 inch. So I decided to get a 2.5 millimeter needle because I'm afraid I'm going to be tight. Not sure. So I wanted to up a size. And now the dilemma on what yarn. I posted on Instagram and a lot of people, which one did you guys, was it this one you guys voted for? I think so and really love this one. So this one is Dragon Horde Yarn in Vintage Fall. Love the colors, love everything about it. But then I get Ellie's Yarn. Wow, these are similar. <laughs> I, I, I have a thing for purples and pinks right now. Now my dilemma is this one is just for me. So I could do a plain vanilla, which is kind of what I'm looking for, especially where I'm going to be trying a 9 inch circular needle. I think I should be doing a plain vanilla. But then I'm totally obsessed with this one from our Ellie. But it needs to be a pattern because this is for a design. So I'm not 100% sure. Odds are I'll probably do this one because it'll just be plain vanilla and it'll be really good practice for a 9 inch. And I might try 9 inch and absolutely hate it. I know that you do have to give it like a, like quite a while for it to catch on, but if not, then I have an extra set of needles. I also found this one in my stash hiding away and I couldn't believe it. So my husband has always asked for thicker socks. I had asked him the other time and he said yes, he would absolutely love it, but I didn't have anything with nylon on a worsted or DK weight base. And then I found this one of Dragon Horn Yarns, which is on her Magic DK base, which is a 7525. I couldn't believe it. And I'm in like beautiful blue black colors. So this is just like perfect for him. I do want to make more DK worsted socks. I think they're fun. I think that they're super quick and they're really comfy cozy around the house. So this one is going to be a pair of socks for my hubby for the fall. I don't know when I'll cast it on, but I wanted to show that off to you guys because I, I definitely need more um, DK to worsted with nylon for some socks because it's so much fun. So yeah, I really love these two of Dragon Horde and then really love this one of Ellie. I look at it and I'm so desperate to cast it on, but at the same time I'm... There's one that she has that if ever she goes, it goes back in her shop. I need it so much. It is cupcake, cupcake something. It is stunning. I love it so much. So yeah, so this is going to be a pair of socks. I don't know when, but it will be soon because I'm, I'm obsessed and I can't stop like squishing it and looking at it. So you know it's going to be a pair of socks very soon. So that is it for all of the knitting and everything that I got in the mail. Um, I'm looking around to me. Oh no, no. My gosh, I have more. I have more from Ellie. So when I, oh, my, so much yarn has come in that I'm actually losing track. Um, so Ellie sent me those for designs, but I actually purchased some from her shop at the same time. This one is, I couldn't believe that it was still there. Um, I have looked at this skein from the fall and wanted it so bad. So this is her pumpkin spice. This one is going to stay in my stash for a little bit. Absolutely love it. On her gotta have socks. So 80, 20. 
And then I also bought um, Heartstrings, which is on her Gotta Have Socks as well. And this one is her, um, one of her Valentine Day colorways. She was having a little sale on her shop, so I decided to buy two skeins because, well, I love it. So these two made an appearance in my stash. I also purchased a skein from Molly of a Homespun House. Um, she was sending out uh, the giveaway, so I purchased um, a skein. This is folk core, folk lore, set on her soft sock on seventy five twenty five. Really love this. I also bought. Um, it's on its way to me. I treated myself a little bit. Molly has these fifty gram skein sets of four colors that I absolutely love that idea because usually I only need about 50 grams and then I'm going to be pairing it with some fun um, contrast heel toes and cuffs so I'll be able to make a ton ton of pair of socks um, out of the 50 grams which I'm really excited about so this one is one of her newer colorways and I ordered um, one of her 50 gram sets I forget the name but I'm really really excited for it and I may in the future get another 50 gram set just because you get 100 grams is great, but I find myself not always using the entire 100 grams and I have a lot left over. So I love the idea of a 50 gram set because then you get multiple colors for lower cost, obviously, and you're able to get more socks. So I really like that and I love the concept. So really love this. This one is 100 grams, um, but you'll see like the, the set I bought is all like pinks. I have a pink obsession at the moment and I don't know what it is, <laughs> but yes. So that is officially it, I think. I received a big Knit Picks haul. That is up on my IGTV um, on Instagram, so if you're interested in that, definitely go check that out. Huge haul. Um, I received a lot of Swish Worsted, um, which is on my lower shelf here. You don't really see it. So I am planning on making some sweaters for the girls. I bought a few patterns and um, really hoping to make those for the girls for the winter that's coming. They uh, they are, they love hand-knit sweaters. It is adorable, so I'm planning on doing that. Okay, you guys, if you're here for the knitting, that is officially it. <laughs> so thank you so much for checking out the podcast and going on in my life. I kind of mentioned it at the beginning. Right now, um, the girls are at pre-K, so that is a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully it'll go well. We're going to go pick them up around 11.30, so that'll be fun. Uh, I am planning, like I said, to finish that sweater this weekend. Hopefully, if not for this week. I'm really excited about the one-week sock knitting challenge. I think that is just always a lot of fun and being able to push ourselves. Like I said, I'm really hoping I like the 9-inch because I think it'd be a lot faster. I think it'd be fun. It'd be different. So I'm hoping all of that. Um, yeah, except for that, there's not much really going on. Uh, we are just all still at the house together. Um, yeah, don't really think there's much. We are re I'm reorganizing the girls' playroom downstairs a little bit, and I'm hoping to get, like, I'm going through their toys, making sure, you know, like, they're, um, they're actually using the toys, and if not, I love to absolutely, um, donate their toys and give them away to other people who definitely need them, so love being able to do that and going through all of our, all of our things, so that is what I'm going to be doing this weekend is kind of organizing more of their toys and their books and all of that. So I'm planning on making a big trip to the library and donating a few boxes of books for, for, the for our local library. And uh, I just love being able to give back. So that is what we're gonna be doing this weekend. I'm hoping to take some photos of the sweater that's coming out on Wednesday. I still haven't taken photos, but I'm wearing it all the time. Uh, yeah, so I think that's it. I. Thank you so much for checking out the whole podcast. Um, I absolutely love seeing you guys and chatting with you all. And uh, I'm hoping to come back in either a week or two. And as always, you guys, happy knitting. And until next time, bye.